Coach, a routine question. I mean, you had a chance to review the film. What were your impressions of how the team played on Saturday? I thought we played together pretty good at times. I thought when we didn't play together, it showed. I thought that, um, uh, you know, we played fast for the most part, which I uh, thought was good as far as the tempo. And then, um, you know, we got plenty of work to do, but I think we got a week better, so that part was good. Robbie? Whenever Dollar Bill went down, uh, brought in a couple of different left tackles. The second time around, you had Nick Jones in there at left tackle, and Stephen Lasoy was in there as well. How did you feel like they did on the left side of the line? And also, do you feel like Nick Jones has worked himself into being a reliable guy if you need him there on the left side? <clears throat> well, he, Nick's been on the left side for a while. I mean, he's uh, you know plays guard and tackle both, so he's versatile and he's got really good feet. And then. <clears throat> you know, we try to roll, um, you know, if we can, about eight guys. So, you know, and Nick's uh, been one of the eight from the beginning. Uh, and then and then Lasoy, of course, has emerged as camp went on. John? Mike, uh, A&M been incredibly good defensively this year. I think they give up like 11 points per game or something. What sticks out to you the most about them uh, defensively? Uh, just they're you know big, they're big lanky guys and they run well you know they you know once they see the ball they do a good job chasing the ball really I mean they're, they're athletic and they they run to the ball. Yeah, Mike, I know you said in the past that you hate punting, but you know George and Archer have put up some pretty impressive numbers so far. You know as you get into SEC play, these games get tighter. Good position matters. How important you know is it to have those two guys putting up that kind of production? I thought they punted really well, and also if you can stick it on the six-inch line every time, that'd be good. You know, I think that that's what I think they ought to do. No matter how far out we are, they ought to stick it on the six-inch line, and we'd be in good shape. Yeah. <clears throat> Going off of that, your punt and kick return game so far is one of the best in the country. What have you seen from that unit as a whole, as well as from two Xavier and those guys in particular? I think we're improving. I think we're getting better. I think we done a pretty good job blocking it if we, you know, uh, you know, for the most part, we just got to be disciplined and on our blocks, things like that. I think those two guys are explosive. I also think they're kind of emerging and getting better and better. Steve? Coach, kind of back to the offensive line question. When it comes to like substitutions and rotations and things like that, obviously it's your program, but how much autonomy do you give the assistant coaches to make those decisions and is, is, is it kind of relate to a guy going down or is it predetermined how do you kind of coordinate when it comes to like substitution patterns uh quite a bit uh, quite a bit a lot of it's kind of apparent as you go through camp and practice i mean uh, for the most part everybody's on the same page you know you're seeing the same film and the same things um and then well then position coach wise, I mean you're kinda of gauging, you know, who's doing what and who's uh you know, who's in what kind of condition and so then you operate from there, who's fresh, who needs a break and then uh, but you do try to establish a rotation and those are hard to establish, uh especially with the uh, offensive line where continuity is such an important thing. Uh but uh you know, you try to develop, I mean, everybody tries to develop too deep. I don't know anybody that's really got a true too deep. I never have, I've tried to. Um, <clears throat> but if you can get uh, eight that are really reliable, you know, uh, you'd, you'd like at least that.